Okay, so you've got a first basic page, but now we have to make it legit. Let me show you what happens if you try and submit this one to the validator and uh, you don't have those extra things. So we established we have notepad and your basic, you've got your HTML opening closing, your opening head, your opening body. Um, you should be able from memory just to say open HTML, open head, open title, type your title, close your title, close your head, open your body, open your heading one, type your heading one, close your heading one, open your paragraph, type your paragraph, close your paragraph, close your body, close your HTML. You need to practice that until you can do it pat. Trust me, it'll help you out a lot if you can do that. However, we're going to take this page, I'm going to open up a browser and I've already got that one there, but I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to validator.w3.org. And this is where we validate our pages. So I'm going to validate by file upload and go find that file I just created, which I put, I made a shortcut to it and I called it uh, first page. And I upload it and check it. And notice I get one error and four warnings. And you can read through these, it's good practice, but basically it's telling us three things. And actually as I improve on this, each item will change to other things. Number one, um, we go down and it says, I don't really know what kind of encoding you're using. So it says we're going to use UTF-8. And then it says, I don't really know what doc type you're using. In other words, which particular specification are you using for this document? Um, and two of those issues are related to that. And then it goes on to pretty much all of them are related to these missing items. So there's a tutorial and you can read up on that. But the short and quick version is basically we need to add a doc type. We need to add, um, tell, us the tell it the character encoding and we need to add an attribute value pair to our HTML. So you can go find the sample code to do that, or I'll do as quickly as I can without using the sample code that I provided. So first thing, I need to find a valid doc type, and I want to do doc type xhtml1.1, and I go right here, and there's the specification. I could probably almost type it directly. Um, xhtml, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's one. Here's an example of a whole, in fact, here's a whole page that I could take. What I'm going to do is swipe the doc type here. So notice from the beginning brackets to the ending brackets, this is not an HTML tag and it does not uh, require closing because it's not HTML. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Notepad, which we had here, and it's the first thing in the document. And I paste it and I save this. File, save. Now I can go back to the validator and I'll choose that same file again and try it again revalidate and now I go from one error to two warnings now we're saying we have no character encoding now if you went back and looked at this sample you see that the first line says XML version 1.0 encoding UTF-8 there's a number of different ways to do that uh, another way is to use a metadata um, and my example uses that so in this case I'll go ahead and do this one so that goes in as the first line on the first page. So I'll actually put that in front of the doc type. This is XML, it is not HTML, and it says so right there. So I'll save that, go back to the validator, once again upload the file, first page, go down and revalidate it, and now I have one error. And what's the error? It says mixing missing XMLNS attribute for element HTML. And that's fancy speak for you're missing some information that goes in the HTML tag. Element is the same as tag and it tells us it should be this. So we can look at the example and it says it might look like this. HTML, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna copy that line, go back to Notepad, and put it there. And so you'll notice the first part is the same, HTML. So we can't have two HTML tags, so we get rid of the first one and replace it with the second. And in another tutorial, I'll talk about attribute value pairs. But basically you put that there, we save it, we go back around, we upload it again, we revalidate and we get green and all is good in the world. Now once you get green it tells you, hey, you can include this code on your page to make it legit. So we'll copy this code, we'll go back to our page and we'll put that down here near the bottom of the body. Notice it's a paragraph and in here is some stuff. We can clean it up a little easier, a little bit to make the stuff a little more obvious. It's actually putting an image that's a hyperlink and uh, then it's closing that hyperlink. So notice the opening A, closing A, and the opening image. And we'll save that. And now when we look at that page, you have the button. And if we were on a web server, we could click it to validate. Since we're not, we'll get this message, no refer header found. It only works when it's up on a web server, but it tells everyone, hey, this page is legit.